Seven point game with about nine and a half minutes left. T Will's going on, on that breakaway, and then ball goes away, kind of a 22 4, I think, run the other way. What happened then? You guys responded so many times. What, what were you guys not able to respond to that time? Yeah, great question. You know, it was the turnovers. Uh, that turnover, and then from there, it spiraled into more turnovers. Um, and, you know, fortunately, on the offensive end, you know, those were the opportunities where either we get to the bucket and we try to make a play. Uh, whether it's individual play, um, and that led to a turnover, or we try to make a pass where, uh, where it did not land in the player's hands, it landed in Ohio State's hands, which unfortunately, uh, that's not the, what we're trying to accomplish there. Uh, that led to a basket for them, and it, overall, just the confidence got got higher for you know the Ohio State players, and then their crowd got really into it, and then it just feeded life into the, that group on the floor. So. Um, the confidence for us, you know, we're going to continue to keep, you know, driving home as far as, you know, getting to the basics and what are the basics, uh, you know, surrendering to um, protecting the basketball and valuing that basketball like no other. Because it's hard to win in this league, uh, especially in this conference when you give up 18 turnovers. Some of these lopsided losses, especially, I guess, what, what's the key to, to keep going and getting off the mat and... and yeah. 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 Well, this is a, a, a really important week for us because we have no games. Uh, we have a lot of practice time where we're going to get into the gym and you know work on a lot of those basics that I'm, I'm talking about. Whether it's uh, creating passing leads, uh, rebounding the basketball, keeping guys off the offensive glass, um, getting to you know running our sets where when, when one option breaks down, uh, making sure that we get to the second situation. Um, do a better job of you know containing the dribble. You know there were times you know in the second half where uh, whether it was Roddy who was getting to the paint, um, or whether it was you know a Bruce who was getting to the paint, and then Bonner you know get to the basics of you know guarding and guarding without fouling. Coach, you're right. when you're in a tough stretch like this, and you talk about confidence, how hard is it to keep the confidence going, and, and what can you do? Well, I'm going to always continue to uh, keep breeding that, that positive energy uh, to our group. You know, first it starts with the leadership, and, that, and that's me. You know, if I come in with a negative attitude, if I come in with, you know, uh, pointing the fingers or doubting um, our group, you know, all that's going to do is make things worse. Um, I will continue to keep teaching. That would help as well as keep uh, feeding life into our group with confidence and positive energy. Well, I mean, you know, Ohio State been playing some really good basketball um, as of late, and you know, it gives credit to the coaching staff uh, with the change. Um, unfortunately, you lose a great coach, and then uh, one of his assistants step in and you know put his imprint on it uh, by keeping also a similar system, and it's been working for them. Um, and and can't take anything away from them today. You know, I give them credit defensively; uh, they got into us. And that's what caused a lot of those turnovers that I was speaking of. Uh, so it just t talks about, you know, the level of the competitiveness at this time of the year where everyone takes their game and uh, higher. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't do that today for us. Uh, Juwan, what was it like preparing for this Ohio State team compared to the one that you saw a month and a half ago? Well, you know, it's a similar team with a similar system. Um, you know, yes, they have simplified some things uh, from an offensive standpoint. But defensively, uh, still run the same stuff. Uh, you know, when you have senior day, uh, that will, of course, ignite you and get you going. Uh, when you have a packed house, the way how it was with all the red in the building, that, of course, will ignite you and get you going as well. But, you know, when you talk about and something that hasn't been said yet, maybe you guys have already stated this, but it, it's a rivalry game. And rivalry always gets you going because, you know, when you see uh, a team that you do – do not, you know, care for it too much. You're going to go out there and you, you're going to give it your best. And that's what exactly what we did when, when they was in our building. All right, Frank. Yeah, we got one, one more about the turnovers. You guys did a pretty good job forcing them as well. I think 16, but they just didn't quite translate to, to points the same way. Uh, is that just shot, shot making, I guess, or what? 
what happened when it didn't quite work the other way? Well, for us, we really only had um, one shot opportunities where it was a one pass shot. And, you know, we can't and we haven't had success when we have those uh, opportunities down the floor on the offensive end where we're not making the defense work or we're not getting to our second situations or we're, we're not making plays for others. You know, and our, our group, you know, they, their heart's in the right place. You know, at times as a competitor, you feel you have to will it your, on your own. But uh, it, it can't happen that way. You, you, you got to surrender to, you know, getting others. Um, others, what I mean by making sure that you have others making an impact and putting an imprint on the game. And wherever your imprint is, whether it's doing the little things where the ball is not going in the basket, where you get that's a loose ball, whether it's setting the screen, or whether it's running into your sets and working on the timing and making sure the timing works, like that's what happens in, that, in basketball that results to winning. And we didn't have that um, uh, this game. Juwan, as far as the um, yeah the the fundamentals you talked about that you'll work on this week, I mean, why do you think some of those things haven't been you know shown by by your guys so far this year? We got to keep hampering in on those those uh, basics, and uh, this is a great week for us to now you know now kids uh, can get in the gym, and you know we have to worry about the the schedule of you know two day two day prep, and then back to another game or. Um, two-day prep and another game. No, we have now a free week where we can just get in the lab and get better. Juwan, you've been around this a long time, around the game. What happens when there's a coaching change? What can happen? Just the, the vibe that changes, maybe? Well, you know, I've been in a situation where it was on the NBA level where coaching changed. So on the collegiate level, I can't you know, really quote that one because Steve Fisher uh, was my coach. And uh, in my opinion, a Hall of Fame coach. And so on the NBA level, you know, this is a, a type of, you know, different style along with a, a different mindset. And then you're dealing with grown men. Uh, here you have young men, but some of them are grown, they're adults, but, you know, it's a different level. So I can't really quote them or give you a, a good answer that yeah, you may be. I was just wondering for. if a different voice can make a difference. Um, you know, like, NBA is different, and you know it's it's to, totally you know that's a business. So you know you, you're getting paid for to do that. Uh, this is totally different now. But I won't go any further with it. You know what I was thinking about. The, the, the relentless nature of going through this league schedule is not easy when things are going well. When you're struggling a little bit, what's it like? Well, I tell you one thing. I tell you, my food doesn't taste the same, and um, my pillow uh, becomes a lot, you know, harder and rough. You know, when, when you're winning, you know, everything's just start feeling great. You know, you, you know, I smile at my wife, and I'm not. I don't have like that growl on my face. You know, I may have like a, you know, I'm winning. I'm, I'm smiling, you know, every day, and I'm joyful. Uh, when you're winning, uh, you know, the, the food, you know, tastes five star level and the pillow becomes more of like a sleep number pillow or something like that. So that, that you know, talk to Coach Painter. You know, he's, they just, what, closed out as far as the Big Ten championship uh, right now at this moment. I remember that feeling. That was a great feeling when we won it in 2021. Uh, everything felt great. <laughs> 